Today I'm going to bleach the top of the buffet and legs. This is day four. Um, this is a wood bleach. It has the oxalic acid in it and it's going to work great once it's mixed with hot water. Um, once the, it dissolves in the hot water and it's applied to the stripped wood, it has to be stripped wood or fresh wood for this to work. Um, it will get out any type of tannins. It will definitely lighten the wood if there's any water rings or marks, like the black water rings that you might get um, from like cups over the years or whatnot. This will help get um, it them out and also lighten the wood. So I'm gonna run the hot water, get it nice and hot, and then I'm gonna add, I'm gonna add about one tablespoon, I'm gonna probably do two. I know it says only one, per quart, this is only a pint, but I want it to be pretty strong. Um, I'm looking to really lighten the wood, so therefore I'm gonna add more of this oxalic acid to the water. So I'm gonna let the hot water run. All right, it's getting really hot. I'm very lucky because the hot water heater is right there, so it comes out really fast. And now I'm going to add, I don't know why it turns, must be so hot or could be still because the hot water heater is still new. I don't know, but it will go away, that, that coloring. Whoops. Two. Uh, definitely wear gloves because if it splashes on you, it will sting. Um, because it is doing a reaction right now. Now it's getting diluted in the, it's starting to dissolve in the water. And I'm just gonna take my foam brush right there and just apply it to the top. Oh, I should probably get one, a smaller foam brush for the legs. Get in the crevices better and all the grooves. Okay. So I'm gonna get going. On the top of the buffet and get my cart going too so my cart is near me And apply the bleach. So the other day, this is day five that I'm gonna be working on this buffet. I did apply a bleach mixture with the oxalic acid and, um, and it, it brightened it up a lot, but I can still feel a little bit of a residue, which is normal. So I'm gonna just take my sanding block and I am going to lightly go over by hand and get some of that residue off. And then I am going to apply another layer of um, the bleach water mix because I do want it to brighten up just a little bit more. So I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna go through, sand it down really quickly, the legs also, put the bleach back on, and then I will do a white wash on top to um, brighten it up even more. So I just wanna show you this tool that I'm using. Um, drywallers use it, they actually put like their pole in there and then they were able to get into hard to reach areas like ceilings and high walls and things. But I love it because the amount of surface area it gives me. So I'm able to go over my buffets nice and 
or dressers, whatever I'm working on. Um, I have a 150 grit sandpaper on here, just clamps behind, and I'm just gonna lightly go over, get up some of the bleach residue. And then I have this hand sanding block. This is awesome because it's got like, um, you can tell the shape of it. It's got corners and it's gonna be able to get into the grooves of the legs really good. I believe this might be like a 150, but it's pretty worn down. So maybe it's closer to like a 200 or something. But I'm just gonna go over it gentle, just get some of that bleach residue up, um, wipe it down like with a dry washcloth, like just a dry towel and then apply bleach again. So I'm gonna show you how I go ahead and do this. Now, one of the reasons why I am bleaching this also is because I want to get the, the natural tannins out of the wood. Um, I'm going to be applying a paint wash and it's going to be a water-based paint. So when I put water-based onto the wood, it's going to draw out those tannins and make it look reddish or pinkish and I don't want that. So that's why I'm actually applying the bleach. Um, and then after I put the paint wash on, I will be using like a polycrylic, which is water-based again. So that's another reason why I want to get out and bleach as much as I can out of the tannins out of the wood. So when I do, I put the white, the paint wash on that's water-based and then the polycrylic that's water-based, that should not have any bleed through come through where it'll turn it like a pinkish and reddish color. Um, if I were to do a polyurethane, which won't bring out the tannins because it's oil-based, but it will yellow the white wash that I'm putting on top. So I don't want to use an oil-based um, top coat of the polyurethane. So I'm just wiping back the leftover bleach residue. Um, I'm gonna go, I have my water getting hot right now so I can put the bleach in there and the oxalic acid and then, um, then I'm gonna apply it onto the furniture. While I'm waiting for the bleach to fully dry, it's coming out so nice, so much brighter than what it was. It's showing actually darker on the camera for some reason than what the actual wood tone does look like. But this is the drawer insert on this cubby, the insert that goes in that big double drawer, the big drawer right here. Um, it was lined with this original fabric, like a velvet. So I'm just, I cut the edges a little bit with the razor and I'm just gonna pull it through and just get rid of it. Um, you can tell it's a little tacky on the bottom. Like, not tacky, it's just got like um, dust and glue residue and everything, and it's just coming right up. So I'm just gonna take this off, clean it up a little bit with some, maybe some like lacquer thinner or acetone, not sure exactly what. Sand it a little bit, get some of that residue off. It came right off, so. There that is. And it's gonna be a cute little cubby that I will paint the outside, the whole thing, and I'm gonna line the inside to match the drawer, the door cabinets and the drawers. So it'll look really cute once this is all done. Because this is in very good shape, this cubby. And it's very hard sometimes to find a buffet that does have like a caddy like this. Sometimes they're always missing. So I was very lucky that it was still all together. So I just want to show you, so it's the second layer, uh, the second coat of the bleach mixture that I put on. So I'm just going to take my sanding block. This is a 220. And I just want to show you how much lighter and once you get that residue off, you can just see it bright and comes off a little easy and it just brightens up the wood more. See, I'll show you this one to this one. It's darker. Look how much lighter this one is now. All right, 
so I'm going to finish this one. I already did the other two over there, and I'm going to start getting ready to put my wash on. So I sanded down with the hand sander and the top, the legs. Now I'm just going to clean up my workspace and get ready to put the paint wash on. So I'm going to vacuum, make sure all my sanding dust, everything is up so it's a nice clean shop now to when I start doing the painting process. <music> do is I'm just going to play around with the wash. I'm going to put some white and some of this beige um, colors into a container here with lots of water and i um, going to do a wash on the legs and the top. So um, I'm going to just play around with it and see how it goes. I want to make enough because I'm going to be doing the top and the bottom, the top of the buffet and the legs, the bottom part. All right, so I have my wash here, and it's exactly what you saw me before. I was just cleaning it up a little bit with the foam brush and stirred it a little better. Um, it's very watery, very, just a little bit of paint with lots of water because I want it to be very delicate on top of this. So I am going to use my foam brush. I'm going to put it on, and then I'm gonna wipe it back. So we'll. Just get going with it. Sometimes it works amazing the first time. Sometimes I might have to put one or two coats on, but whatever it is, we're just going to go for it. If I feel it's not bright enough, I'll add some, I'll add another coat of a, just a straight up white wash without any of that tan, that very light beige. I just wanted to see how this would come out. If anything, having this little bit of a darker color will give a nice beige, I mean a base, a nice base to it. So when I do add more white to it, to give it more of a natural look, it'll come out really nice. Okay, I've got about half of it done right now and I am going to wipe it back.
top, it looks a lot darker um, than it originally was, but it's just because it's wet. We added some paint wash to it, so the moisture in the paint uh, with the wood just darkens it, but it will lighten up um, just because that's the nature of this type of wood on top. But this edging here, this solid, looks like popular, popular wood, um, has a different type of texture, coloring, things like that. So the white wash actually goes on almost like what it's gonna look like. Um, you have a better idea of what this will look like, but this will, the top will lighten as it dries. And then I might have to put another coat on top to match the sides here because this is two different species of wood. Okay, so I'm gonna go around and do my um, wash along the edge here and then wipe it back. So now I'm going to work on the legs, mix it up a little bit, the wash. Now, because there's a lot of water in this, it's going to get real dark and then it will lighten up as the water dries out and the paint will set in. I love when the paint kind of sets in the crevices here and some spots are darker with more paint, like heavier with paint and some aren't. I like that. I like, like it to have like a smoky look to it, like a white smoky look. Show you how much it lightened up even the camp there it is it's a little better it's not as dark the camera's showing it a little darker than what it is but um i'm going to put another wash on just to even out some of the tones and things like i can see some water uh some of the wash the way it wiped back so i'm going to put another coat on and um i just finished doing the legs. You can see this was the last leg I just did. Look how dark it is because it's got a lot of water on it. But this is the one I did first. So you can see how light it turned out. So the top, the legs are starting to look really nice together. And I'm just gonna keep cleaning it up. So what I'm doing is I'm putting a second coat of the wash on and I'm doing it one like a foam brush at a time and wiping it back. wash that I put on. Look at how beautiful it dried. It's very natural looking. The legs all match very nice to the top. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take uh, polycrylic and the clear satin and I am going to put a coat of the polycrylic on. All right so I have my polycrylic and the clear satin, a strainer, a cardboard like a paper bowl, and I'm just going to strain the polycrylic. Let that go through. Okay, and then what I'm gonna use is one of these sponge applicators. I'm gonna dip it into the polycrylic and then I'm just gonna glide it onto the top of the buffet.
first coat of the polycrylic is dry. It looks beautiful. I am then gonna take my sanding pad, my sanding block here, and just lightly go over to get any, um, any roughness out from the polycrylic. So I'm gonna go over it gentle. I'm gonna put another coat of polycrylic on. So I put the coat of, um, the first coat of polycrylic on and it came out good. I used a satin coat, usually a satin finish. Usually I'll use an ultra flat, but I can tell that I had some highlights in certain areas. So what I'm gonna do um, for my second coat is I'm gonna pour it in there in the tray, in the paint tray, and I'm actually gonna roll it on to make sure it's a smooth consistency. And, um, and then I'll just go over it with my sponge brush just to get any air bubbles that comes out sometimes with, um, sometimes with rolling a polycrylic, it tends sometimes to get like little air bubbles. So I'm um, gonna let this sit since I just poured it, I just put some air in. So I'm just gonna let that sit for a little bit and uh, then I'm gonna start to roll. I thought that I pressed record as I was rolling on the polycrylic. So what I did was I rolled it on and then I went back with my foam brush and just went over to smooth out any of the air bubbles that sometimes gets left behind when you use your roller with um, a polycrylic. So I'm gonna let this dry and then I'll see how it looks tomorrow. Yesterday, I put on the second coat of the polycrylic. I used my roller, and then after I did my roller, I took a foam brush and just went over the roll just to smooth out any air bubbles that happens in the polycrylic. I don't know, for some reason, whenever I put polycrylic on, that happens to me, um, but I don't know if it's because I go a little too fast with the roller, I try going slow with the roller. I don't know if it's just the nature of the polycrylic and eventually the bubbles will um, go away, but I just kind of speed the process up a little bit to make sure I get that smooth finish. So I put the roller on and a foam brush. I go over that roll and it's always nice and smooth. It's perfect. So that's what I do. Um, just a little tip. Maybe if that's if you're having issues, if you roll on polycrylic and it just feels bumpy when it dries, um, that could be the reason. It could just be the air bubbles that maybe happen when you put the roller on and it just created air bubbles. But today is finally priming day. We could finally get going on making this buffet look stunning. So what I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna tape off certain areas where I do not want the primer to get on. Um, and I will um, show you exactly my whole setup for when I prime. Oh, with the legs right there, I, um, I didn't put any polycrylic on the legs. I'm just gonna apply a wax onto them and that's fine. But only because it doesn't get as much usage as a top wood, I wanted to really protect the top of this buffet for whoever, um, for um, when they want to use any decor on there, um, serving platters, things like that. So I really wanted to protect the top of this, but the legs is fine, but I am going to put a, a wax on it to protect the wood and the paint that I did apply onto the legs. So I'm going to get all my priming material ready and I'm going to show you how I prime a piece.